Local program funding provided by a generous grant from Union Pacific. Union Pacific, building America. I'm Karen Hoyt, Marketing Director at Shasta Regional Medical Center, and we're proud to be part of the conversation that the forum at KIXE is bringing to our community. Shasta Regional has been around for more than 60 years supporting our community, and we would like to invite you to be a part of the forum on KIXE. Together, we can support the community that gives us back so much. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to the forum. I'm Ashley Tate, your host with Christy Largent, and our guest host again. Again. <laughs> again. Good morning, Mosley. He can introduce himself today. Thank you for having me back. <laughs> All right. And we're also here with our guest, um, Brian Garcia. Garcia. Yep. I want to make sure I say that correctly because it's spelled Garcia, but he's Portuguese. Portuguese. So oh. we want to make sure we say that correctly. Garcia. Well, thank you. I love that name. All right. Yeah. So. If you'll kind of let us know a little bit about what you do right now, and then we'll kind of move into our guest. Since you're our guest host, we'd like oh, to know a little bit about you. I I own The Social. It's a yogurt shop up on Placer in Buenaventura. We specialize in making all of our yogurts organically. Uh, we, use, we don't use any preservatives or dyes or chemicals. It's all real ingredients, so you're getting the best of uh, the best of the best when you eat it, which is great because I'm on par with this guy over yep. here. That's right. Our resident guru of healthy eating. <laughs> That's yeah. Right. Learning more and more every day because it's, right. a, it's, a, it's a education. Yeah, it's right. And as you know, um, Brian Garcia is from Gorilla Bites. In case you're wondering, where do I know that name from? It's from <laughs> Gorilla Bites. And we're so lucky to have him here with us today because we're talking about li living healthily and obviously we're gonna we can get our dessert up at the social there but we can also yeah. get everyday kind of really yummy good food Absolutely. every single time you go to gorilla bites yeah. so well why don't we find out a little bit about brian how come you started it when did it start and what was well, your impetus for getting going and so it, forth it started i moved to reading in 2007 there you go. and we came here and uh, was eating out a lot and was sort of disappointed in the choices eating out mm -hmm. healthy eating has been sort of a hobby of mine for a long time I was working in Chico at the time and commuting to Chico and um, found myself eating at the Gorilla Bites down there and kept on asking the guy to open one up here and he said, why don't you? And the long story short is I ended up doing it. So yeah, wow. um, it was some circumstances, wanted to be closer to home with my daughter going to school and some stuff like that. So we just uh, made an effort to try for it and went for it. So two th 2008, we started it, um, had a partner back out. So it, it was a two year project to get it open and we opened in 2010. So oh, we wow. just, 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 just celebrated that's our third awesome. anniversary. So oh, that's Terrific. Awesome. No, I, I've heard now a little bit about when you were starting. Yeah. So what, what happened? I mean, tell well, us all about that. I think that was in the paper, right? Yeah, yeah it was in the paper. We, um, we started 2008 and we started um, processing, got the lease, got the construction started. And, and then when the economy sort of dived down, one of my partners sort of lost a lot of equity in some industrial properties and he sort of backed out. So we were, I was all in with uh, a long way, to, you know, at the 50 yard line and yeah. needed some help to go. Yeah. And just kept on showing up and we had some, you know, a drywall guy came and helped us with drywall and wow. electrician helped us with electrician. And then wow. we had a couple of people put stuff on accounts for us and say, whatever you can do it, do it. And oh, it, it wow. was sort of a community effort, you know, yeah, um, absolutely. we had some college students come down and just sort of help do some stuff. And our, our old friend, Norm, who works there, he's the, the delivery guy, the old man that there, he came every day and swept the floors for a year. Wow. So it was I just sort of a neat, Fantastic. neat little yeah. community effort to get it open. That's great. Wow. He's a great guy to kind of have around. He's yeah. kind of like a staple for Gorilla Bites. Yeah. Like you don't go in there and not expect to see yeah. Norm. Yeah, Norm, he's 84 yeah. years old and still working, and he, yes. and he blames it on the Mega Green smoothies. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which are delicious. Yes, they are. Every time I, I come in. I love it. So. I love it. Well, that's yeah. neat. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was going to ask, so... Um, is Gorilla Bites, is it a, is it a chain? Is it, it a it's a, it's a, it's become, it's trying to become a franchise. Okay. So we have a license agreement and okay. there's about five of us now. There's, um, okay. uh, one just opened up in Salt Lake city and okay. they're getting ready to open a second one in Salt Lake. And then they're trying to do three in the, in the Bay area. So wow. they're, they're wow. trying to do some more and they're hoping within the next year or two, it will be a, a true franchise. Okay. Now and what we'll happens when it's for the owner? What happens when it's a franchise? So they could a, they could actually sell it to other people who want to open a restaurant. Right now, um, you have to they can't advertise the restaurant. The opportunity, the people oh. who want to do it have to come to them, 
and no. asked to try to do it and they sign a license agreement. But when you do a franchise, you actually have a product you could sell. Oh. It's approved by the government and it's got all the forms and stuff in place and it's a reproducible type right. thing. So, so everyone has to come and, and ask right just now, like you did. Yeah, right, yeah. I asked the owner and so got in so we sat together and figured it out. So wow. That's so you were saying earlier that um, it's a learning process. It's healthy living. I mean, it's a yeah. learning process. There's a lot of information. Yeah. I feel like every time I go in, there's some, you've got something new on the menu, something new in the in the drink section. Where's your inspiration? Where does that come from? Well, the inspiration was is um, it, uh, a long story. Is, is my first wife who um, she passed away. She had diabetes, mm -hmm. and she passed away from the disease. So it, it caused me through 25 years of marriage to dig in to figure out how to help make her life better sure. and my life better at the same time. Yeah. And I learned learned all that stuff, and then. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I, I've been playing off and on for being a vegetarian, not being a vegetarian for years and years. And um, currently now I've been a, a vegan for about two and a half years. And it's a little bit easier when you work at a salad bar right. like we have. Sure. I have, to, I have to interject there. That's so true because my husband, actually our entire family ended up going vegan. And I, when I say entire, I mean like our extended family, yeah. you know, in-laws and all. Um, and it is tough if you're on the road it's tough I mean, oh my sure, gosh it is tough out, to cook like that yeah so, so yes having a salad bar have there a salad bar there and that's <laughs> i'm sure that's my main staple yeah. so and then just studying that the effects of the of, of food on, on the body you yes. know um the the pesticides the gmos the yeah. gluten we were talking mm -hmm. about the sugar mm -hmm. and all these things and how it affects the, you know i have a 10 year old daughter so now i have another reason to try to figure yes. it out mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. uh the opposite of me she's a pure 100 percent carnivore so <laughs> yeah you, know, you but, balance each other yeah out that yeah way. yeah She's funny. She but your meat isn't your meat is totally awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you get That's tell fantastic. us about how you source yeah. your meat and yeah. stuff. Um, so the so the um, the beef that we have there is um, Prather Ranch for our burgers. We mm -hmm. use Prather Ranch mm -hmm. local. Um, the, the, we don't get the organic because they uh, free range some of their stuff. And once mm -hmm. once you free range it, you can't call it organic because they don't know where they're at. So right. Right. Oh my God. wow. Yeah, because yeah. they're out eating on yeah. places eating they don't know where it's at. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, it's but it's it's great. They really care about their stuff, their their meat and their products. The bison burgers are from Idaho. They're free range again, also. Which are excellent burgers. The, yeah. yeah. Even though we're supposed to be. Uh, the chicken, um, it's not organic, but there's no hormone, no additives on it, and um, and same with our, and our salmon's wild caught salmon, and our oh, turkey good. is also no hormones. Oh good. So we're working at that. Fantastic. The the price price range between organic and non organic chicken is still pretty far up there. We're hoping that it gets a little bit closer and we'll jump mm -hmm. in there and start doing that. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's working good. And then our salad bar, um, I'd say about eighty percent of our produce is organic. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's hard in the winter time. Yeah. You know, to, you really can't get organic romaine lettuce. You know, it's right. just tough. Right. So, but. but um, we're, we're getting hitting the season right now. We're going to be 100% organic because the organics, the, the spring and summer, it, it really starts getting good. So, yeah. so available, Fantastic. isn't it? Yeah. And I, I know that you found some um, some good information when you were doing probably the research on diabetes. Yeah. Um, with food, I mean, they have some amazing things out there. And yeah. when you see that you go vegan, it can actually take the disease away. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, and you know. it's that, and that's one of the motivations. I mean, our, our country and, and, and they, you know, between being overweight and diabetes and cancer and a lot of things what are called are sort of lifestyle choices mm -hmm. that, that are causing some of these diseases. And but people love to eat out. Right. So, yeah. you know, it's like the idea of maybe to try to marry the two, mm -hmm. have healthy food that's good tasting was sort of yeah. the impetus mm -hmm. that exactly. we're doing mm -hmm. it. So. With the ease. Yeah. And so you were, he was also saying that he had some people that were the gringos you were saying? And yeah, they're, gonna, they're, yeah, they're, um, you know, we're encouraged, it's encouraged to that there's places like you open up yeah. with organic. I mean, it's hard to recommend places when you have this idea and, and you're recommending. And there was a restaurant in town called Gringos and it went down and, and you know, you open up organic. There's, I guess, a juice bar going to be opening up, yep. up there also. Mm -hmm. And we're helping them. I mean, it's, it's pure competition, but we want them to succeed. People sure. to get more juicy, more organic, more, um, you know, vegetables and fruit in their diets right. yeah. it's great so we're it's kind of like that. you're making a bigger pie if you will yeah so that yeah. more people have more options it's not necessarily competition yeah. but when you create that bigger pie yeah. so that more people are tuned in to eating yeah. healthy Absolutely. and there's the resources yeah. Yeah. so we bring our whole family to gorilla bites we all are eating really healthy yeah, yeah. and we're, we're not sacrificing taste a lot of times you hear people Absolutely. say oh i have to give up all the good stuff right. if i want to eat right. healthy but I yeah. think Gorilla Bites is the it's classic example, yeah. and mm -hmm. you guys, it's, you don't have to give up good taste yeah. to have really healthy, good for your brain and good yeah. for your body food. A little tidbit I just learned, 
When you eat every calorie you eat, 25% of every calorie you eat is used by your brain. This tiny little brain here uses 25% of the calories you consume. So what are you feeding your brain? Yeah. yeah. And you know, coming into Gorilla Bites, you know, you're feeding it really healthy, absolutely, heart healthy and head healthy yeah. well, food. I would say Gorilla Bites has kind of become a staple for Reading. <laughs> sure. I, I really, yeah. well, I mean, I know you. it's only been three years, but once people hear about it, I mean. Grilla Bites, Will, Will does. I mean, all those places now yeah. have become like the new mm -hmm. kind of hot spots, and people are putting more vegan options on yeah. their menus. Um, really, kind of made a change. Yes, yeah, uh, Reading. We're noticing on the, um, like on websites, you know, about two and a half years ago, if you were to say vegan and Reading for a restaurant, I think we were the only one that comes up. Yep. Now about fifteen come up, yep. so it's still yeah. you know. But there's a business. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Oh, I was going to say there's a business principle that says you know when the tide comes in all boats rise. That's so right. That's when right. when you guys came, it, it really kind of opened the floodgates in Reading for people to be able to live the way they wanted to live and introduce you know commerce and kind of a new way of eating, which is really exciting for people who really want to wash their wash the way they eat. I'm a diabetic too, a mm -hmm. type one, and it's really important right. for me to monitor the way I eat, and I can't. I mean, I just. Can't you can't junk. go. That's right. You yeah. can't go anywhere yep. and get the kind of quality, high quality, high high taste, like high caliber yeah. food that you can get at Grilla right. Bites. And then, and then, like I say, with people with blood pressure things, um, you know, we we've made a really big effort to take as much salt out of everything we have Fantastic. as possible. Fantastic. I mean, if you want to add it back on, we have salt shakers on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but um, it's a we, great baseline. Yeah, we went after that healthy kids rating that Shasta County has been produced. Yeah. It's a nationwide program, and um, you know we. We got everything down below those levels, so we oh, could wow. do that. Fantastic. It was great. Now, so. one thing I love about Gorilla Bites is how it feels in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And you go in there. If you haven't been in there, it's definitely worth visiting, not just for the food, but the ambiance. It's yeah. just so pleasant in it year round. I mean, I've en I enjoy going in there all the time. Yeah. You've got the fire in the winter. Yep. Yep. You've got the little games that my kids love playing. Yes. You've got really, it has such a nice ambiance. How did that come about? Well, it, some of, like I told you, the um, some of the stuff that happened that makes it really great now was sort of an accident of that lack of budget. We had to get creative with ideas and do some things. And you know, um, the, the benches across the back and the fireplace was an idea, but we were gonna make it a lot more fancy, but we ended up buying less expensive and throwing it in the side and it worked out great. It's yeah, it looks great. The yeah. floors, um, the floors was the colored concrete was, you know, we were gonna go try to, try to do like a recycled bamboo or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the budget just like say went down. And so yeah. we figured out what to do. and. That was me and a friend for three nights in a row doing <laughs> oh, that. And, that's about, great. and we did the floors. <laughs> and yeah. that's, everybody loves it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it looks God. fantastic. Yeah. The little game is a friend of ours. He's been making um, stuff out of uh, marbles and, and, and stuff for years. And we are at his house. And he goes, I would love to make a big one. And my wife said, well, they got a wall at Gorilla Bites. And so he made that game for us. I mean, my so kids love that. I know, Same here. They not, ask every we year. We call it the non electronic every, video every game. For <laughs> did you go in? <laughs> They love it. But it, it was a good guy, Gary Childs. He's got a couple more out there, but he's he's had a, a blast, and it, it was about three stages. At first, it was a one piece, and then it went over, and then it he added a third piece. So, so as an entrepreneur, um, if someone's thinking about opening a restaurant, oh. <laughs> well, besides, <laughs> what would you tell them? <laughs> it's a lot of work. I mean, yeah. restaurant business. It, it, I tell you, I've never worked so hard for so little financial return the, the the return I get of meeting people who love it and meeting people who enjoy it and 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 touching the community has been uh, over I mean it's actually what kept me going because my background is I'm a civil engineer so I mean oh. prior to this my last time in a restaurant was 14 years old as a busboy so <laughs> um, it, it is a lot of work and um, you know for for little return so you really have to Love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I knew in my heart doing that. When we were having a hard time doing it, we had a, a guy who wanted to be a partner, but he wanted to take it in a different direction. Mm. And I realized that I couldn't be going there for 60 hours a week just s selling roast beef sandwiches and, and French dips and stuff. Right. And right. it was like, I can't do it. So we decided not to and hold to our guns and either make it or, or lose it, you know, yeah. And, yeah. and so we're at where we're at right now. So. Well, that makes it so that you feel like you're actually, you're doing your passion every day, Yeah. you know, and you have to stick to what you want. Yeah. And that's what, I mean, I think that's the biggest piece of advice for mm -hmm. any entrepreneur yeah. is to stick to what, what gives you passion. And that's what, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to raise it, even raise it up the next time. This summer, we're going to try to try trying to do some, like some juicing classes or Great. Some, oh. some cooking, you know, raw, there's people, there's a little raw food movement mm -hmm. type stuff out there and mm -hmm. try to do some raw food classes. And so we have some people who are interested in teaching and people are interested in coming. So we just figure out how we're going to get that to the community and yeah. let them know we're going to be doing that. I'm so. glad you brought that up. What's, what's next for Gorilla Bites? Um, 
Well, um, you know, uh, you guys had a guest on last week, Mike Monitor. You know, he, we want to start bringing music back in. We had for a while there, we had uh, every other Thursday we were having music. Um, and we're going to start probably trying to do that again. So try to get try the evening time, start creating a community place to be. Mm -hmm. And then um, education. Um, you know, I'm dealing with a little basal cell skin cancer here. So um, the American Cancer Society, all the, the doctors and all the stuff are all talking about, you know, more fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So there is, you know, there people are starting to realize that diet has a lot to do with cancer, Absolutely. and there's a lot of alternative type cancer healings there. And we want to combine this sort of the the uh, medical community with the nutrition community and try to have mm -hmm. a place for people who are, are struggling with some of that, looking for options opposed yeah. to radiation and chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Like that. So we're going to start trying to do more stuff like that. That would be amazing, and I think, I mean, there are so many people that I think if they just get a glimpse of what you're trying yeah. to do, I mean, would be part of that movement. Yeah, so we're going to try to figure out, we might have to get a TV screen in there. We've kept it out purposely, yeah. but we might have to get one to show movies and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> show KXC. Yeah, KXC. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It'd be for some, uh, some of the special events, so but we're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and so, just, I mean, even if you just have it up there just to down, show, yeah, yeah just to... <laughs> <laughs> just to sort of yeah, running tab just, of what events you have yeah. coming up next, what classes and exactly. all that stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, that would I I love the idea. That's I great. think so you're doing great. So what's your high things. point? What's your high point so far in your years of, of business and high point and low point? Oh goodness. Well it's funny, the low point and the high point are sort of together in a sense. <laughs> um the low point was about um the first Christmas, so about eight months after we got in there. Uh, we opened the door so cash flow tight. I mean, you know, and when yeah. you do a business, we said this plan, business, we're the anti-business plan because everything we've done has been anti to the business plan that right. we set up with. Um, and we weren't going to make payroll. And I actually just told all, you know, it was about January, we went through the season, I took, and I told all the employees we were closing down. Mm. And we got ready to close down. And a long story short is we had uh, two people in the community who really believe in Grill Bites who came and gave some money because they didn't want to see it leave. And I'm like, it blew me away. And once that word got out, that, that we had a bunch of individuals. I'm talking Aww. kids and this and that, and you know, took a big chunk of the debt wow. out and, and got wind in our sales and got us through and kept us going. That's again. fantastic. So it was sort of the low and the high together. <sighs> yes, so absolutely. It was That's great. Wow. It, it was a great, I mean, our employees worked for two weeks with no pay. And I mean, it was just, it was sort of a, everybody, you know that movie, It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah. It, it, it sort of felt like that at the end. That's great. We're just standing there and the hat's getting full. So That's great. What a testimony to a community. That's yeah. great. Yeah, and it's, that's the, the really high point is watching how it touches the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, watching people who are excited about eating there because it's a place they can go to because yeah. they, you know, they know that we care. We're not 100%, you know, all organic, all fresh, but we're, 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 everything we do, we try. I mean, all yeah. our sauces... You know, we use tamari instead of soy sauce before the gluten-free people. Oh, right. Good. You know, we do all these little things. Um, it's hard to people who are celiac, and like mm -hmm. I said, I'm learning more every day, learning yeah. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between even gluten-free and celiac. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're having a hard time serving them because we have Cross. wheat everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but just the That's fact right. that you're trying. Yeah fosters its own community. Yeah, yeah you know, exactly. You're, he's, he's making, I mean, both of you, I mean, are making a community here. And I mean, that is huge. Yeah. Because before you came, there wasn't really, there weren't, I can't say there were any options yeah, I mean, for you, organic. Yeah, food. or even, you know, you could go to get a carrot juice at Jamba Juice or yeah. go to Holiday Market and get a couple of juice up there, but there's yeah. no place to sit down yeah. and have yeah. 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 yeah, No, it's, it's amazing. So what do you do when you're not at Gorilla Bites. Great question. Well, I have a, that is a good question. The first thing is I have a 10-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. so she keeps me busy. Where does sure. she go to school? She goes to Bethel Christian School, okay. great. and she loves it up there, and she's, actually, she works at Gorilla Bites, so she's oh, come there. That's on great. She's there doing the register. Aww. And, um, and then one of my hobbies is I do long-distance running. I've, I've done a lot. I've done like 15, 17 marathons. Wow. And but lately I've been into the trail runs, so I've been doing yeah. the, the 50 kilometer runs up your in the mountains. Your knees are You might be running with your brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he probably <laughs> is. Yeah. Do you run with Matt Mosley? No, he kicks my butt. I can't keep, he's fat. I'm a slow old guy in the back and he's a fast front guy. He just did <laughs> my that. My brother's I, like I was going to do that run. Yeah, he's crazy. crazy. I was going to do that run that he just did. That, yeah. That meow thing, but yeah. I had these surgeries and it put, put me That's off. amazing that yeah. you can so run that far. I would have done it, but I to sleep in, so I did. Oh my gosh. Is that your brother? Yeah, yeah, my little brother. Yeah, he's a man. Younger brother, not little. He's much better looking than I am. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we'll get him on next time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so that's that's my, my passion is running. And as Gr Gorilla Bites gets the support there um, at, the, at the Reading Marathon they have every year. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's funny, uh, this the, we've done it four years in a row where we've actually brought soup and we serve the runners soup. Oh. Wow. And so it was neat this year, we had a, probably 20 runners came by saying, I came to the race just for the soup. Oh, <laughs> you made it. Goodness. That's, awesome. that's, that's, so, that's fantastic. Exactly. So next that's year, hopefully great. I'm coming in. I want to do it again next yeah, year. Yeah, so we want to see you out there. I've done it twice now and so do it, do it again. So. Yeah, it's and fantastic. stop by and go get your own get soup. Get soup. Yeah, so we do that and then we do the Whiskey Town 50K with soup. So a lot of local cool. runs, we oh do gosh. chips and and bring, bring chips and soup, so that's sort of our... That's fantastic. Oh, that's Combining my passion of running with the restaurant and sort of funny <laughs> That's idea. great. I Good love deal. that. Cool. Next so. you'll be sponsoring a running team. From we Grand thought about Heights. that. I mean, I, I don't tell my tax man, but I do that myself at restaurant. So there's a one-man running, there is a run-man running team on the books. So. <laughs> so great. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk to Brian. We, we, we are going to, we put, we put a team in, um, the, the, the run around the Whiskey Town Lake. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we, we had a Grilla Bites team there this oh, year. So oh, that's really? cool. Yeah, it was fun. So. Not the Whiskey Town Relays. Is it not the Relays. Yes, yeah, the Relays. Yeah. Yeah, is it the Relays? Yeah, okay. The relays. Yeah. I did that, and that yeah. is terrible. <laughs> that is so hard. It is. It's really a good run. Well, but fun, my though. gosh, if you don't train hard. with heels. Well, I did the first. Oh. I did the first leg, and then. Like his brother, I kept on running the whole thing. Yes, which is crazy. So I ran the whole thing, and then I ran with my my rest of my team the rest of the way. So it was good. I don't like feeling I am rushed. Blown away. So I, I don't like running. Yeah. I don't like feeling I have to get somewhere on time if I don't have to. Why rest? Why run slow now? So yeah, it's, it's, I would too. It's, it's, it's That's amazing. That you ran still. the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you a quick question while yeah. we've got time. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, are you, are you guys doing anything different at, at Gorilla Bites that's going to you know, set you apart from any other ones, like deliveries, uh, different hours? Well, like uh, um, we, we do, what we do outs. is we, uh, we found out there's a need in the, in the community. A lot of the medical offices and the other yeah. offices, if they have delivery needs, we don't really have a delivery program, but if you have five or six sandwiches or more and you want it for lunchtime, we do d a delivery like that. Great. So, oh, that's, oh, that's So it's fun. It's, it's sort of got word of mouth. You know, all the drug reps in the doctor's <laughs> office know about it. Yeah. Now, so that that's works great. out really good. And then um, <laughs> there's a little fantastic. oxymoron there. I have to say, the it's drug reps so at the, the doctor's we, office we, find grilla bites. We, <laughs> we, we love it because it, I mean, it's sort of funny. But I, I agree. Isn't it? It's, That's funny. Irony. It's, it's, totally, it's most of the doctors now are. It's, there's like four or five doctors out that are eating vegan. Uh, yep. So when the drug reps come, they order from us. So sort of this weird. That's right. That's fantastic. That's right. <laughs> I love it. There is truly it. a movement going on here. I mean, there was yeah. there was a doctor for a while that was just he would you know yep. he would always you know Dr. Yep. Benny. Yep. Yes, and so he just moved down to Whole Foods. Yep. And he's now the director there. But um, I I'm just so happy that you're here. And yeah, thank absolutely. you so much for you're welcome. coming on. Because oh, it's been a blast. I mean, we love to talk about what we're doing. It's, they yeah. say that the favorite part is being able to help people yeah. learn stuff. And like I say, we're going to have like I say, the classes and, and new things. The new Fantastic. things going to be the education. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have people coming in. Where the doctors say you should go on a vegan diet to, for your blood pressure, type 1 diabetes. Yeah. And they come to Gorilla Bites and they go, what's vegan? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they have the slightest idea. What yeah. Is, so. hmm. So terrific. And then you have stuff. other people who are paleo that will only paleo. eat the right. grass-fed yep. beef. And yeah, we get a lot of paleo coming to there. So. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really nice because you can do both. The gluten-free people come in. That environment. Yeah, you've got yeah. your. Well, and then the husbands, the husbands who don't aren't being being dragged by their wife to the salad yeah. bar. They have the bison burgers. Yeah, the bison burgers. Yeah, yeah. 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 It just sounds. You have really truly fostered a culture there as well. I mean, you walk into Gorilla Bites and you know what you're going to get. I mean, it's it's kind of like Dutch Brothers where you go in and everybody's kind of lively yeah. and interested in what you've got going on mm -hmm. and they're friendly and they I love love friendly. love walking into a business in Reading and seeing lines yes. yeah. I love that yeah. you know you because go. it just gives you that feeling Absolutely. yes we're recovering <laughs> yes. you know, we and, and I almost always have a line at Gorilla Bites which right. I think is an awesome yeah. place to be it's kind of line right. you want to be in it there is you go. it right. is it's good well you know we once again we are just enjoying doing this forum for our North State viewers here. And KIXE has been so awesome in letting this whole show come together because not only do we get to hear about amazing people like Brian and his business Gorilla Bites, but we're looking at, we've, you've seen musicians, you've seen all sorts of different people from our, from our North State region. If yeah. you know about somebody who's really interesting and you think they would be great on the show, you need to let us know. Call KIXE and let them know because we are looking, we have 13 weeks that we get to do this season and we want to be responsive to, to you, our viewers. We're just so glad you're watching. We're having so much fun doing this program. And um, so we are so glad you're here, Marty. Oh, we really, thank you very I mean, much. What a privilege to get him to come. Here. And we miss Chris, but we're enjoying Marty. And of course, this is Ashley's brainchild. 
Thank you so much. Thanks for being on, Thank Brian. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching us, and we are totally looking forward to seeing you next time on the forum. Good night. Good night. Local program funding provided by a generous grant from Union Pacific. Union Pacific, building America. I'm Karen Hoyt, Marketing Director at Shasta Regional Medical Center, and we're proud to be part of the conversation that the forum at KIXE is bringing to our community. Shasta Regional has been around for more than 60 years supporting our community, and we would like to invite you to be a part of the forum on KIXE. Together, we can support the community that gives us back so much. Thank you.